Hey everyone, my name is Karina Ocampo and today I'll be reflecting on the Harlem Children's Zone. To begin with, the Harlem Children's Zone, initiated by Jeffrey Canada, is a nonprofit organization with one goal in mind. It aims to break the cycle of poverty for the low-achieving students in the Harlem area. More specifically, it aims to increase high school and college graduation rates among these children. The Harlem Children's Zone provides life-changing opportunities for these children through parental workshops, pre-kindergarten classes, tutoring center for teenagers, free mental and physical care, and a variety of after school and summer programs, which target uh, each student depending on what they need in terms of education. Uh, the Harlem Children's Zone Initiative gained its success through psychoeducational strategies and community involvement or collaboration. Some of these strategies are oriented towards creating a safe educational environment for the low-class children and families. Children are given the opportunity to explore a full network of services and have their specific needs met. What I believe made this initiative truly successful is that it targets not only the children, but also the parents. To get to the children, the parents must be informed and involved as well. The Harlem Children's Zone includes parental workshops which teach new parents how to be parents and how to help prepare their children for school. Um, without the parent support and an active involvement, the children may not benefit or even be aware that these programs are being offered in their neighborhood. In addition, community collaboration played a crucial role in the development of this organization. In this case, I'm not talking about the parents themselves or the families. I'm talking about the professionals. I'm talking about the educators, the community leaders, um, social agents, etc. Uh, essentially, they all come together and to participate in the design, the configuration, and adaptation of the programs and workshops offered. Basically, they make this all happen. These programs' components are impact on the children's stress, coping, social support, and resilience. It gives the children a sense of relief and opportunity they can take advantage of. Stress levels may decrease because low-income minorities are presented with an opportunity to get a proper education. They don't have to worry about struggling with the overload of assignments and understanding concepts, etc., and not having someone to explain it to them. If you stop and think that there are many schools in low-income neighborhoods that have one teacher versus 30, 40, 50 kids, it's very hard for them to be able to get a good education when there's only one teacher for all of them. Sometimes you have a question, um, you don't understand something, and there's only one teacher to come along and get to everybody. And there's only so much that they can do. Um, this is the reason that, you know, one teacher for like 10 students is adequate, which is actually what the Harlem Children's um, Charter School offers. And I feel like that's the best way that these kids will learn. There's one-on-one uh, -on -one interactions, one-on-one uh, -on -one help, um, so all in all, great. Um, these programs and workshops help parents so that they can become the social support that their children need to succeed um, and eventually obtain that college degree that they all hope for. Um, knowing that there is social support available from educators as well as their parents and free mental health services, children have the capacity to overcome the difficult phases that life brings to them. Thank you guys for watching, that is all.